a block is dropped onto a spring that is attached to the ground. We can see that happening. The block follows the pathway shown in the diagram below and passes through positions 1, 2, 3. The block is dropped at position 1, has fallen to the spring without compressing the spring at position 2 and has been momentarily stopped by the compressed spring at position 3. The height of 0, y equals to 0, is marked on the diagram below. So the height is uh, at this point, position 3, when the spring is completely compressed. So the block starts dropping from position 1. Then there is a position 2 when the block has just struck just struck the spring not not didn't started didn't start compressing it and then there is position 3 when the spring is completely compressed okay so what do we do with this uh, with this uh, information now the question is we need to select the types of energy present for the block earth spring system as the block is at each of the three positions shown in the diagram we have three options there is k kinetic energy there is u subscript g which is gravitational potential energy and there is u subscript s which is elastic potential energy okay we can consider upwards as the positive direction all right so what all types of energies are present for this block earth spring system at these three positions as always try this one on your own first okay now let's get into this so what's happening the block starts uh, there is position 1 when the block starts falling, there is a position 2 when the block is just about to hit the spring and then there is position 3. In this block earth spring system, there will be one type of energy transforming into other type of energy. There will be a lot of energy transformations going on within this system. So let's take a look at position 1. Here we see that there is no, there is no velocity. V is 0. So from that information we can we can say that there is no kinetic energy there is no kinetic energy but the block is at a certain height so at position one we can say that the block has gravitational it has gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy or ug all right at position two the block is moving the block is moving and it also has some height because so height of zero that is marked over here that is when the spring is completely compressed so there is some height to it there is also some velocity so there is kinetic energy and there is also some gravitational potential energy at this point at point three there is no velocity so there is no kinetic energy and there is also no no height because it has reached a, it has reached a zero level but at this point the spring is completely compressed so we can say that the system has all the energy that the system has is the elastic potential energy or us.